So we've got a few questions to ask ourselves. I've got the chart pulled up here on the right about polarity. So I've got two atoms. First one, are they the same? Yes, but this is kind of weird because there is no central atom, right? But they are the same. And so then we're going to head over to, are there lone pairs? Nope, there's no lone pairs. And then is the shape linear or square planar? Yeah, it's a linear shape. So that'll be like following the flow chart that's nonpolar. Now, if we're just looking at it, is there a dipole? Well, that bond is between two identical items. So atoms, so you can't have a dipole when they're identical like that. Is there a molecular dipole? Well, if you don't have a bond dipole, you don't have a molecular dipole. All right, let's look at this one. So, and I've already drawn some stuff on here. So the CLs are the same. The bonds right here, you can tell the bonds do have a dipole, but because they're exactly opposite and even from each other, there's no molecular dipole. If you look over on the right, if we follow, are the outer atoms the same? Yes. Are there lone pairs? No, nonpolar. All right, so in this one, again, they're all the same atom, and notice that I've moved the electrons in the bond like way close to the other atoms just to kind of see what's going on with them. And you can tell that there's a bond dipole. The atoms are different. So, yeah, there is a bond dipole. It's not that strong, but there is one. And then is there molecular ones? The idea is, like, will the other bonds cancel this one out? So if we look at our chart, too, it says, are the outer atoms the same? Yes. Are there lone pairs? No. Is the shape linear or square planar? No. I'm sorry. All are there lone pairs? No. So that would be non a molec it has no molecular dipole. I can't record tonight.